is, is key to a successful relationship um, and not getting ghosted. I was just telling someone the other day that she was like, well, you know, you're in this relationship and you're happy and why can't I find a man? I'm like, you know, and I was very honest with her. I'm like, you have to learn to be quiet. <laughs> All right, let's go. So we're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna first start off with introducing our uh, our guests and our and our, my co-hosts. One of my co-hosts with Dr. Duke Okk. Yeah. Introduce yourself, Duke. God bless you, everybody. God bless you. My name again is Dr. Duke Okk. I'm currently located in Wilmington, North Carolina. So if you need those teeth fixed, come holler at me. That side tooth, that side tooth is talking loud. Don't <laughs> buy another belt till you get them teeth fixed. Holler at me. <laughs> All uh, right, next up, uh, my boy Pierre, introduce yourself. I ain't got it like you, Duke, you the man. <laughs> but uh, rapper, entrepreneur, um, in Charlotte, North Carolina, I got a hit single out right now called What's Your Sign? It's on all streaming platforms. We're gonna perform that later. I got a home care agency in Charlotte, so if anybody has any family members that need help, then tap in with me, we can do that as well. Live, one of my best friends, you know what I'm saying? That's my guy. We do it, oh, spread brother. love the movement. That's Absolutely, right. spread love. Uh, next up, Miss Indy, introduce yourself. Hi everyone, I'm Indy Felder. I'm the founder of Beauties with Brains. It's an empowerment organization that I started back in 2017. It has grown so big, um, have exceeded my expectations. I always also have a branded agency called Indy Felder Branded Agency. And by day, I do personal injury. So if you're ever in a car accident, slip and fall, workers comp, please give me a call. Also, I have an event March 12th. Um, Beauties with Brains, Tom's Indie Felder, and Rolls Royce has come on as a partner, so you guys know we're bringing That's an right. experience. That's right. That's oh, 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 oh. Right. Hey, tell, tell them who you got on. Tell them who you got on the cast. Tell them who you got with you, Indy. <laughs> well, so far, I haven't announced my keynote speaker yet. I want my tickets to sell out first. Um, but yes, we have um, Ty Lepley from P Valley, and um, what else he's on? What else are you on? P Valley. Harlem. 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 That's okay. right, Harlem. Harlem. And then we have um, Wallow from the <laughs> podcast Million Wallow Dollars Worth the Game. Yes, sir. <laughs> and then another panel of amazing people as well. Absolutely. I thought you was nervous. I was. She, she, she lying, man. She out here. And of course, man, we, we of course we got to get into our sponsors. This episode right here is sponsored by Mr. Curtis Hill Jr., also known as SP the Writer, resident of Raleigh, North Carolina, by the way, of Maysville, North Carolina. Um, he is a silent poet, S.P. Productions, um, which houses three experiences, including um, the Fast Rising and One of a Kind flagship production, Inc. Spire. So make sure you tap in with him today. He is here in the back um, with his hand up. Make sure you all greet him. Um, he has some dope, 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 dope content. All right. Let's get into this, man. Indy. Wow. <laughs> like I mean, you, 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 you're, you're the lady of the group, so okay. we, you know, we, we want to know why do men ghost women? In my opinion. Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like if the chemistry isn't there, they're just like, this is not it, or they just have a motive. They go into it with a motive, and once that motive is fulfilled, then that's it. Okay, okay. Duke, what, what, why do, Duke's but, smiling oh, over there, uh-oh. <laughs> why, why, do, why do men ghost women? Um. I personally believe that it can, one, be an act of cowardice, two, it can either be he's done with you entirely, or three, he just doesn't know how to communicate, mm. right? And okay. so, of those three, you gotta figure that out. So you should know what you're dealing with in the first place, you know who that man was, right? So, the cowardice aspect is, in my head, when you <clears throat> approach a woman in a certain way, you should close out in the same way you approached. Okay. Right? So okay. If, I, I had to sit up on that one. I had to sit up on that one. Let me put the chair behind my back. All right, let's get it. Right. So if you, if, you were, if you were putting forth your best foot, if you Sorry. had nothing but game to offer Shorty, during that time frame where she was gauging your interest, then you should have the same wherewithal when you're closing out that whole process. Present that with tact and back out clean, right? Okay. Like that's, that's my thought process. The same way you go in, the same way you got to go out. The same way you go in, I mean, the same That's simple. That's something out. your grandma say right there. No. Easy. <laughs> All right, P, okay. what, P, P why, do, why do men ghost women, man, in your opinion? Do keep emptying the clip on me. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. But um, 
consistency is one. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the cowardice aspect is definitely a thing, but sometimes they don't know themselves, you know, so they might enter it, talking to them, and then just lose it, mm -hmm. you know? So sometimes they fall off. It's simple as that to me. Okay. You know, one, in preparing for this episode, like one of the most common themes I heard of from the fellas is that I don't want to hurt her feelings. Mm -hmm. wow. Right? And so, and, and, and having the conversation was... Hold on a lot. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said that, and I heard somebody say, tell me that. Okay. It's not that easy, you know what I'm saying? Like... Or it doesn't come across that easy. It depends yeah. on who you are, but everybody's not that bravado, you know, just to let you know, like, if you flip the shoes, you know what I'm saying? And it was a woman, because women ghost men more than men sure. ghost women. Anyway. Uh-oh, y'all not going to clap about uh -oh. that one, though. Wait uh -oh. a minute. So, Where the energy uh -oh. for that? You know what I'm saying? So, uh -oh. so that's another, another topic, you know? Okay, you got them going on that one, man. So, so this is my question for the crowd. So this is my question for the crowd. And, and for and, and for the oh yeah we we gonna get into it because we passing the mic around on this one so get your get your responses ready. Couldn't even finish. If y'all in the crowd and y'all got something to say, get your get your responses. Because I ready. know y'all like to tussle. So 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 one of the main, one of the main things that we when it comes to men ghosting women is that the fellas have said that they believe they get the same response if they come and tell her to her face why he is done with her and if he ghosted her. So really what we're getting into is the lack of confrontation, right? And so some fellas uh, believe that it's best to ghost a woman, right? Because understanding is not um, condonement, right? So I empathize and I understand why the man makes the decision to ghost. Um, I don't necessarily condone it, so it's a difference, right? But um, they, the, the, the saying is that they believe that they get the same result, so why? go into a situation that you know is going to be confrontational and if it's going to yield the same result clarity simply put, expound on that the reason why you go in regardless of the outcome is clarity okay right so you know what it is and you will have to guess what it will be I understand right? so rather than going in saying yo this is what i think we should do or what i think she's thinking f that right i'm trying to be you know, politically correct and watch my French, right? But like, F that. You lead out, you feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. You approached her, Absolutely. close it. And two, man, hey, it. I think my, my fellas, man, the kings of gods that they are, I believe that they have to have the integrity too. Absolutely. Integrity That's is a, a large part. piece. Well, like, Indy, how, how, what, what role does integrity play, what you, you think, when it comes to women and, and millennial women that's dating and they feel like they're, they've been ghosted and, and all those different things? How, what's the conversations like when it comes to the integrity of the man? I, I mean, I just feel like a man, well, men in general, in this era, Take the it integrity easy aspect is not really there. And I'm not saying all men, but a lot of them. And I feel like social media plays a major part in that. Everyone's so accessible. Why, I mean, why would I care about ghosting her or having integrity morals when I can just hop in the next DM and have another one in 2.5 minutes? Understood, understood. P, what so, you think? P on that, on, on integrity. Also, uh, during this generation, too, you know, a lot of women intimidate a lot of men. Mm. Ooh, that's the one. Yeah, so. Well, and what, what do you think the intimidation is coming from? Because that's, pre that's pretty broad. So do you think it's intimidation based on the things that she's achieved in her career? I think it's uh, a mask of it all. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what you see on social media, then when you actually meet her and see what she's talking about, especially if she's loud in her femininity, you know, then it's gonna clap you down, maybe if you're not masculine enough. But okay. if your masculinity matches her femininity, then y'all gonna finish right. that out. You have to be okay. Secure. Right. okay, all right, two. Um, and, and Duke, this question is for you. What, what's the role of, uh, you, you spoke a lot about maturity. If everybody can keep it down in the crowd, if everybody can keep it down in the crowd. Um, also too, you, you, we spoke about maturity, but uh, Tap into uh, emotional maturity. Emot it's, emotional maturity, AKA emotional intelligence. There we go. Is lacking in just about every community. I won't just say it's a male thing or a masculine thing. Let's be very honest with ourselves and recognize that many of our women are children, right? They want what they want, regardless of how it's presented and what they actually bring to the table, right? So it's more about us being emotionally intelligent enough to live in reality 
right? Not Absolutely. living your mind thinking, oh, this is what I want, therefore this is what it will be. No, you have to first create within reality. Observe what is, take what is, and then move. There right? we go. Until we do that, each person is gonna be sitting back grasping at straws saying, my ideal is what I should have. When in all truth, we all know life ain't fair, so why is it that your ideal is something that you're fighting for, AKA something that you think you deserve, right? Did you create it? Have you worked for it? Are you truly deserving of it? All things happen to those who deserve whatever they get. You feel what I'm saying? Nothing happens in this world that's not supposed to happen. And if you're constantly getting ghosted, the common denominator in most of those relationships is you. There we go. There we go. And you I think too, um, see, but when it comes to things like that, I don't think, and everybody can keep it down in the crowd. Uh, I think um, it's people, miss out on points like that because it breeds accountability. That's right. That's and right. so if you are a woman that continuously gets ghosted, the issue is not the man in society. Come on. The issue is not social media, uh, which is a thing that's thrown around more than the word toxic. You know, like <laughs> that's, that, those are not the things. I think we have to first look inside. Right. And like we were saying on the previous episode is that when you go to therapy and you pull back those layers, you start to realize like, damn, like, my, my life right now is right. a sum of the actions and choices and the attitudes that I've had Precisely. in my dating life, in my career, right, in, in my friends. Um, uh, like, we're going to get into red flags, but one mm. of the biggest red flags when it comes to men dating women is a woman that constantly has different friends every six, three to six months. Yep. It's the lack of consistency, yep. right? Yep. And so yep. we have to look at, okay, it's the lack of consistency, it's the, it's the lack of accountability, it's a lack in a lot of different areas. And, and that so, is maturity. As, absolutely. Until we grasp that accountability, there can be no maturity. Because you won't even be willing to look at someone pointing you, pointing at you, saying, "This is where you need mm -hmm. to be better." You and, can't take critiques. Yes. Right? Yep. yep. And, and Andy, speak on that. Um, when it comes to, the, I think the key to that too is being humble mm -hmm. with yourself, like not over leveraging and not over evaluating what you bring to the table when it comes to that. So sometimes if you have the attitude like I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, and a man sees that and he feeds off of that energy, he's like, uh. I'm not with it. <laughs> I'm not with it. Right. Speak on the ability to be humble. Yes. So being humble is extremely important, especially when you're going into a relationship or going into someone you're trying to build with because you don't want to make them feel belittled. Oh. You don't want to make them feel belittled. You don't want to make them feel small. You want to go in on an even playing field. So I think being humble is, is key to a successful relationship um, and not getting ghosted. I was just telling someone the other day that she was like, well, you know, you're in this relationship and you're happy and why can't I find him? I'm like, you know, and I was very honest with her. I'm like, you have to learn to be quiet. <laughs> you know? That's cute. You oh. know? Why can't be loud. You? I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off, Andy. Well, I don't mean to cut you off. I really don't. Okay. But where was all, all that energy that when she said men be doing X, Y, and Z, <laughs> where is all that energy when she said y'all doing X, Y, and Z, women? I don't get it. Are we <laughs> that scared of accountability? <laughs> is it that much of a kryptonic situation? Is it kryptonite for you, for real? Because y'all not clapping, doing all that, ooh, yeah, where, where is that? You feel what, what I'm saying? Y'all did, right? <laughs> like, this, I guarantee you it's more than six women in this building right now. You feel what I'm saying? It got loud when she said men do X, Y, and Z. Okay, well, we heard you. <laughs> Another thing, saying, too, you heard I wanna, me, but that, I want, I want the same, you know what I mean? Not to cut you off, Duke. But um, men goes women, too, since we're, like, one-sided with it. Just straight-up gender because they know what they want. Mm -hmm. If you know what you want, and she's not bringing it to the table. And as soon as she says something, as soon as she show you a I characteristic know. that you don't like, or you're like, you see a quote unquote red flag, instantly you're like, I can't deal with that. So maybe he knows himself. Just mm. like if we flipped it in reversal, if she knows herself, the same reason why we get ghosted sometimes. So no. it's like, yo, I'm not gonna deal with this because maybe he's already experienced that same red flag, or he's at a place where it's like, I cannot accept this. Mm -hmm. So I've grown from that, and you're not at the level where we can mesh and match. That's, that's, a, that's a bar, man. I agree. Um, I, I, I'm a firm believer. I think ghosting is a gift. Oh. Mm. Why do you want to be with somebody that ghosts you? So a lot of times, those things that you want to avoid in a relationship, uh, uh, verbal abuse, physical abuse, um, uh, uh, backtracking and dealing with a man that's not structured in the, his career and the things that he wants to achieve in life, 
sometimes the best thing he can do for you is to ghost you. For yeah. real, man. And so, yeah. you, like, again, advice. we can't be stuck on attaching ourselves to a particular person. Like, if you want a man that um, has a certain type of career, certain faith, certain relationship with his family, all of these foundational things, you should focus on that and not the person who has that. Because the universe will bring to you exactly what you want. Yep. But a lot of times, if we are attracting these negative people into our lives, we believe that every man or woman possesses those things mm -hmm. on our list. And sometimes the best thing that we can do is be ghosted yep. to avoid a negative situation, <laughs> right? So a lot of times, we got to be able to look at it from that perspective, being able to flip negative into positive so that we can achieve what we want to achieve. Amen, and bro. that's a humbling experience itself. And then, you know, I'm like, yo, don't ghost me because I ghost back. Don't spin the block. <laughs> <laughs> That's, don't spin the block. <laughs> and you know, to sum it all up, man, um, I think the the key to the key to avoiding ghosting is to uh, to not replicate poor behaviors, right? So, if you're an individual that has ghosted somebody in the past, we all have. If you're an individual that has uh, that has been ghosted, we may all have. The, the key to it is to not take those traumas and to pour it on somebody else because right. you've been ghosted, right? AKA so baggage. you have to lead by example. Like if you, have to, you have to give what you want to receive in life. Right. That's what the law of karma is all about. And I think that a lot of times it's easy for us to apply all of these uh, different laws and structural ways of thinking to our career, mm -hmm. to our family, to our friends. But when it comes to dating, that's the area where we take all the reins off and we say we're just going to be free and let whatever happen. No, you have to go into it with the same mindset, the same key, man, the same Everything key. Everything requires order, bro. Absolutely. I don't think people, uh, they love what they see surface level, but then they kind of hate when they get deeper. Yeah. That's true. That's true. And too, man, and to my fellas, I think it's, I think it's key for us to address our, our, our anxieties and past mm -hmm. traumas. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, you know, it, it, you, you may be ghosting women based on some things that you've been through in your life. And so it's key for you to address those things as men. It's actually your responsibility to yourself. Yeah. Right? You can't yeah. give love if you're not giving love to yourself. You're not, if you can't give structure and you can't give maturity if you're not giving it to yourself. Yeah. So I think um, that's why I like Sam's business, Mastering the Man, because you can apply that to mastering the woman. You can apply it to mastering the man. You can apply it to mastering the relationship with my mom, with my sister, with my brother. All of these things that are close to you before you start spreading out and giving yourself away yeah. to the world. You know. So let's let's wrap it up, man. I think that's a lot. It's a lot of tangible things um, that we can apply and, and 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 do moving forward when it comes down to ghosting. Yeah. Any 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 closing thoughts? I'm not attacking y'all, ladies. I go. just had to know. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't no, ain't no, it's all love. I hope y'all understand that. I just really want everybody to be on an even keel and express in a very, very positive way. Hey, we way. outnumbered in here, Duke, so yeah, you gotta give it to you. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> are, but, but my, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna bow out, right? My thing is this. If you say you want something, I hope you match what you say you want. Match that in, keep that same energy. Keep that keep, same energy. Keep the same energy. That's right, we can go out on that one, man. Yeah. That's a wrap. There we Why go. do men ghost women? I'm in prime mode, head of my time, anytime, every time zone, the God flow, I'm in God mode, blessings hitting me with combos, I ball, cello, mellow, Lonzo, time is money, no money, no combo, manifesting my dream pronto, they couldn't detonate me, they let a bomb blow.